He was like, in the beginning, he was telling us how he believes in God and in the Old Testament law and stuff. But then, and we, you know, Jesus to him is like this very religious person, um, and he didn't really, re he's never really read the New Testament, but he believes, he believes in this <coughs> supremacy of God, and that God is going to come back eventually and claim everything back to him. And whatever. We spoke to him more about the New Testament and about the Gospel, and in conclusion, he was, he, we gave him your number, and <laughs> <laughs> we gave him a Bible, and if you have no questions, because he's never read the New Testament, and he believes that it has errors, that's why he's never read it, but we convinced him, I guess, to read it, and um, he said he's going to read it, he really believes that God loves him and stuff, because he said in two years, this is like the 11th pe person that came up to him that's told him God loves him. But we were just talking, and she's like, yeah, like, I really want to touch with you. And she goes to the funny bell, and um, so she gave me uh, her contact information, and she was really, um, she said, I'll write it down for you. She's 15, she's like, I'll write it down for you and everything. And so I really, I really want to, um, I'm gonna write her and see what God, the Lord brings out of it. Maybe she'll come to and, Yeah, maybe she'll come. And it seems like she wants to sing too. Oh yeah, she sings. She she likes to sing. And so we told her about choir, and she said that was really good. That about um, the group, the choir stuff. That was really interesting. And um, she's really nice, even though she thought I was 15, but <laughs> she's still nice. <laughs> you got your you, you got your you. But listen, there's this huge Christian subculture uh, in the United States, North America, and it's so tempting to be all, have this virtual Christian life with like the, our Christian superstars. It's got nothing to do with your life, your family, your church, your community, and we're having this virtual experience with you know the theological superstars of our culture and what they're battling about. Meanwhile, you have no victory in your Christian life. You know, and but we're caught up in this other realm. As I look at raising our girls, we're constantly like, oh, there's so much you want to like pour into these kids. Well, we just have a little bit of time with them, and like the days go by like that, and you're like, oh, right, we we did. What did we do today? Did we even open our Bibles? And it's like, if we didn't, what what are we doing? Like this is the this this life is preparing us for the next life, and this is what matters. about 
we're going to give that up, we're going to do that more, and stuff like that. Just, just keep that in mind. God's love for you does not depend on what you are doing. And when you're failing, when you're struggling, His love has not changed for you. Uh, pretzels in the morning, pretzels in the evening. If you was you a pretzel, sorry girl, you'll be leaving. Uh, don't wanna call no trouble, don't wanna call no strife. But it's pretzels over everything for life. Pretzels over uh, everything. Uh, pretzels over everything. Now we going in. <laughs>